A narrow stretch of road is the scene of another horrific accident. Neighbors living on Little Marrowbone Road say crashes don't end well there. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Haran learned, this time two people were killed. And even though the car has been removed, you can still see some remnants of the crash scene right here. Look right there. There's some bark missing from the tree. There's some bark missing from the tree over there. And then there's still some debris down in the water. And neighbors who live right across the street say this is not the first time there's been a fatality here. Just a bad scene. You can just feel it. People get to the top of the hill and then they gun it. According to neighbors, this road with no shoulders and drop-offs on both sides is just... That's about 15 feet there, 10 to 15, somewhere in there. Dangerous. Ken Baddock and his family heard a deadly crash as it happened right across the street from them. This morning, about 4.30, we, uh, we heard a crash, and uh, we came out on the porch looking around. We couldn't really see anything at first. But when Baddock got there, people were already on scene. They were friends of the crash victims, of which there are three. They are 29-year-old Joshua Guy, 25-year-old Joseph Duffel, and 28-year-old Sarah King. Both Guy and Duffel died. King was hurt, but we don't know how badly. She was flown to Vanderbilt Medical Center. According to the Highway Patrol, the car went off the right side of the road. The driver then tried to correct and went off the left side of the road with the steep cliff. The car hit two trees before coming to rest on its top wasn't my loved ones, but there's some people right now that are hurting pretty bad, I'm sure. In Ashton City, Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. And we've learned at least one person was thrown from the car.